Hello and welcome to yet another live coverage of Threats to Biodiversity. Today we bring you to the Bronsburg Nature Park, live from Suriname. The Bronsburg Nature Park is located in the northeastern part of Suriname, within the district of Brokopondo, and is named after the first gold miner in that area. This biodiversity rich area was declared as a nature park in 1970 and is since under management of the Foundation for Nature Conservation in Suriname, Stinazu. The park harbors diverse flora and fauna, recreation, and serves as nature education and scientific research. The Brownsburg Nature Park is also home to many species endemic to the Guyana Shield. The Brownsburg Nature Park consists of many different types of habitat providing multiple ranges of wildlife refuges. With regards to its plants, rich literature exists, including recordings of rare and endemics. With regards to mammals, a total of 116 species have been recorded, while for bird species nearly 400 species are listed as being native to Brownsburg. The Brownsburg Nature Park also harbors 80 species of reptiles and 64 species of amphibians. But why I mention this all to you? What do I want to highlight? Exactly. The major threat to the Bronsburg Nature Park consists of illegal artisanal and small-scale gold mining, with an estimated area of more than 5% already destroyed, leading to land clearing and forest destruction, hydraulic erosion and the use of damaging substances, such as mercury. The exploitation method consists of forest clearing and extraction of alluvial gold deposits through utilizing destructive high-pressure hydraulic hoses. According to the research, there still remains significant work to be undertaken at the Lely and Nassau plateaus, while Brownsburg has been subject to extensive research on biodiversity, mostly because of the ease of accessibility to the plateau. Sad sighting. What are the resulting impacts? Well, these can be subdivided into physical, biological, social health and economic impact. To start with the physical impact, mercury pollution. This is leading to extreme high mercury levels in carnivorous fishes and reduced fish diversity in downstreams due to erosion. High load of suspended solid sedimentation. Potential impact on human health through mercury poisoning which can lead to chronic diseases, a major factor for concern. Nearly all of the forest sections downstream of the major creeks at Brownsburg have lost their natural vegetation, consisting only of man-made water basins and dikes containing only suspended solid sediments. As a result of gold mining, the resulting increased turbidity levels, changes in water due to dissolved mercury and other heavy metals are dramatic. Mercury pollution to aquatic ecosystem is drastic. Hi again, um, this is Vishal. Um, we've gone much farther back at the Leo Falls and I have no words it's just destruction of everything we're learning to conserve ecosystems biodiversity you name it gold the rush 
destroying everything with the help of my colleagues please have a look yes this was previously an area which could not be easily reached but it has been gold miners blasting through everything cutting off trees and destroying everything what biological impacts do we face well habitat degradation and biodiversity loss are evident effects of mercury poisoning on fish reptiles birds and mammals leading to the reduction of reproductive success behavioral abnormalities impaired development and death Reduction of predation and seed dispersal, for example, dispersal of seeds by the bearded sakis, agutis, and the loss of localized fish species are evident. With regards to the social impacts, the increased risk of sexually transmitted diseases through sex workers and their clients, the gold miners, impacts on human health through mercury poisoning, heat stress, ergonomic work problems, and malaria, which can have chronic effects. In addition, criminal activities and conflicts in mining areas which usually end in violence or even death. So what has actually been done in terms of conservation? Well, glad you asked. As mentioned before, the BNP has been under Stenazo management since 1970, whereby various management plans have been deployed and several clean sweeps have taken place. However, these initiatives have yielded short-lived success due to lack of comprehensive and sustainable management. What did we get from the side of the government? There have also been several governmental undertakings such as clean sweeps, registration of gold miners and collaboration with gold miners as well. However, even here no sustainable successes have been reached, resulting in miners repopulating sites within months, mostly due to lack of comprehensive and sustainable management. However, the commission for organizing the gold sector has shown signs of success, but it may yet be soon to tell. So what can be done? What can be recommended for conserving our beloved park? Again, very glad you asked. A lot can be done, but what is actually needed? Well, a governmental multidisciplinary approach might just do the trick. In cooperation of all relevant governmental stakeholders, such as justice, police and defense for crime mitigation, public health for provision of basic health care, regional development for the incorporation of local communities in policy development, foreign affairs for the regulation of foreigners in the gold sector, labor technological development and environment for the creation of employment opportunities and improvement of labor conditions, in addition effective management of the environment, and also establishment of partnerships between large-scale mining companies and small-scale miners, which include training in a more sustainable small-scale mining methods by mine engineers. What can be done from the optic of Stinasu then? Well, a lot can be done. Communication, education, awareness outreach, facilitation of abandoned land site with optional land reclamation, thorough demonstration of benefits of ecotourism, training on environmental effects of the artisanal and small-scale gold mining at the Bronzeburg Nature Park, mercury management, increased lobbying by international organizations with the focus on environmental stewardship. A lot can be done. Let's do it. I thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.
Please protect our valuable environment. It was here before we were. Thank you.